Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I have my boy here, Jay Wesley Olson, and he's going to be showing you guys how to get this gorgeous color today, and then stay tuned for next week because he's going to show you how to get this beautiful, glamorous curl. I, You guys, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably noticed that unfortunately I was in a car accident, I broke my arm, so he's going to be taking care of business and giving you guys a couple tutorials for the next couple weeks. So anyways, Jay, tell me a little bit about this color that you're going to be showing us how to do today. Cool. So what we did was we we wanted to take Kira from an original blonde. We wanted her to give we wanted to give her that lived in vibe. So in order to do that and not wait for that root to come out, what we did was we started with a base tone and then we did what I refer to as reverse balayage or shadow low lighting to bring it through and give her that contrast that we have. It came out really good. I'm excited for this tutorial. I'm excited for you guys to see how it went. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna section off right off her part. She typically goes to the middle, but she's versatile. And then I'm gonna get started with just a root touch up or global application. Okay, now that we've got the global application done, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a little bit of a barrier up on the top here so we don't get that hair that's been untouched, uh, so we don't get any product on there. Um, hair color wise, we're using, right now I'm using a level seven in L'Oreal Majorel Cool Cover with a 15 volume, just for a little bit of deposit. And we added a little bit of 7.11 because Kira likes to keep it a little cooler and we want it very natural. So we want a natural result um, flowing into that, to the old highlights that she has. So I'm working with L'Oreal Professional Sweet Mesh and what I'm doing is I'm laying the product onto the sweet mesh, then laying the hair section on top of the, the product and almost um, double lining the product on, on each side, sandwiching the product on both sides. So I'll show you how that goes right here. Separating that section, we're bringing our next section down. putting just a little bit of product here. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I noticed as I would try and bring the product out to give it that shadow low light, that unfinished low light, graduating towards the ends, it wasn't staying. The color wasn't staying. It would last a week, you know, maybe even just a few days and then it would rinse out. So giving that product underneath and then going back through on top, gives it a lot more substance and stability. So it's had a lot more, uh, it's lasting longer. And then feathering it out towards the ends here. Okay, so now we're getting into what I call the reverse balayage technique. So again, just like balayage, we have product just on the edge of the brush. And being that we saturated the sweet mesh just underneath, as you can see here, for stability, bringing it down onto the sweet mesh, I'm now feathering it off. Going a little bit further down towards the back to give it a good flow to, towards the back and still maintaining a little bit of face framing with her already existing highlights. And when I say reverse balayage, it's because it literally is just like that. With regular balayage, you're trying to lightly saturate on the surface and bring it into a full saturation. With reverse balayage, you're doing full saturation at the top of the section and then feathering it off towards the bottom. Okay, perfect. So we have cure processing now. The cool part is, is you can almost see through this sweet mesh and you can see uh, the flow of what we have going back here. Also, I pulled this down just a little bit more in the back in order to give it a little more depth so you can see exactly how it's gonna shape up when it's done. Uh, with this, Kira doesn't require any heat, so we're just gonna chill and let this process for about 25 minutes and then we'll be good to go. 
Well, thank you so much, Jay, for being here today. The color looks so amazing, and I wanna throw it out there too that Jay and I have actually partnered up. We started teaching a class called Braids and Balayage. It's coming to you soon. You girls have to check it out, and you guys too. I'm gonna go ahead and put the links below and you definitely have to check us both out on Instagram. I'm gonna put the links down below as well. So thanks again, Jay, for being here. Thank you, Kira, for modeling and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you ladies soon.